carry and protect the owner's tools. A rusty, trusty companion, even handyman in a way. So it gives you plus 20 technology. Uh, nails. Nope, nope, okay. So, oh, I'm just looking around. Jeez. Anybody out here sell anything, rats? Can't get any water. That's what's kind of annoying me. Where can I fill up with water? Kindly merchant lady in pajamas at tends to her wares. When she spots you, she smiles and says, Glad to see you here. Did you want to buy anything? Buy something? I have meat. It's really fresh, too. I'd love to see your wares. Oh. Then... Oh. And... Got vegetables. Then an old-looking woman in a headscarf heard you come closer by wagging her... Gladly. Love... Don't walk away. Look at my wares. The best produce in the place. Okay. Have some... Oh, damn. A fang of a big carnivore. Nice talisman. Wonder if I can turn that into something. So, hunter, okay, yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Eats 30 root. Corn. Data. Oh, one. Damn it. Let's just go with that. Alright, just passing by. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, can we go into here? Man. Oh. That's one of the traders. I want to talk to the guards first. Or talk to the trade. Well, I want to talk to the traders, apparently. And I think about it because if I leave here, they're going to charge me for 30 ruples to come back in their camp. Bunks. Sweet. Every damn thing that isn't nailed down. In front of you is a jeery man who is evidently annoyed with something. He is spinning the pen between his fingers and looking around scared. Yes, what is it? Hurry up. Wait a minute, pal. Why are you so jittery? man stares at you with red bloodshot eyes popping out. But me, I'm always like that. You slow down, they'll get ahead of you in the blink of an eye. Have you heard how a tortoise outran Achilles? And what is the risk if you're racing not against tortoises, but against people? Exactly. And then there's this bloody scumbag, this disgusting thing, this bugger, this... Oh, damn. He's got money. Done. Done. So, six. Five, six. Done. Trade. We're actually, these are like way nothing though. Won't, won't trade with that. Um, who's the tortoise? What are you talking about? What are you to suspect me? Shake your shoulders. This is it. The adverse effect of taking drugs. Um, who's the tortoises? The man smacks himself on the sweaty forehead in frustration. What effing tortoises? B, the buzzer. Can you see I've been flying around me the whole day? I've been flying around me and I can't kill it. No, it's a small, not at all mutated, but still annoying to be flying around the man. Attention dexterity. Try to catch the bee. Success. In a lightning fast movement resembling an attack of a starving python. Grab the wild bee from the air and squeeze it in your fist. Arr! Endurance. Suffer through the sting of the bee and crush it in your face. So, baby, the pain from the sudden bee sting is unbearable. You squeal and throw the insect away from you, right into the face of your nervous interloco. Terrified, you notice the bee got under his shirt collar. Ah, no, no, get it out, no, get it out. Not the bee, I'm allergic. Ah! The man, the face of the man begins to turn purple. He's grasping his throat with no avail. You're just standing there, unable to do anything while the jerry man is slouching to the floor, then he freezes. I just killed this dude. 
I just straight up just killed that dude and took all of his junk. <laughs> I just straight up killed that guy on accident and got all of his loot. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a dick. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. <sighs> Alright. I wonder if I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> oh, let's let's save it. I mean, times things happen. Save it for. And the dressed woman in glasses is looking at her modern crossword puzzle printed on bad paper. Have you noticed who she looks away from the crossword and dresses you turn voice? Okay, you don't have anything. Paragon guest house, usual prices, usual quality. Are you looking for a room for rent? What do you mean by uh, upload, Scott Smith? I'm interested in the cost of living here. <laughs> they want to inform you that one of our guests have died. One fame turns slightly pale. She entirely shakes her head. Oh, you don't say. Is it Kasia, right? Kasia the face? I knew that sooner or later he would die either from a heart attack or from his mini allergy. Oh, and now I have to clean up. All right, thanks for letting me know, I guess. The owner of the hotel reluctantly gets up from the table, taking with her a mop and a bucket. Walks into the Lake Castell's room. Just a few minutes, you hear a loud splash coming from the harbor. It seems that the dead aren't treated with too much respect here in Paragon. Yeah, I unloaded. I took every damn thing he got. I got like a thousand, <laughs> about a thousand worth of items off him. <laughs> Let him rest in peace and water. Oh, you know what I need to be doing? Why I'm walking around is having this on. That way when I go into a locale, I might find special loot. That's what it does. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm interested in the cost of living here. It's the Wasteland Standard. If you need rules for a room piece, you would want it. But I've changed my mind. Bye-bye. Alright. Okay, so what's this gentleman? Serious man looking man in glasses walking on the deck examining a pile of some yellow faded papers and wax tablets with a lot of ink. As he notices you, he his head, adjusts his glasses, and squints his eyes at you. Sight. Squints his eyes at you excitedly. Yes, is there something you wanted? Nothing in particular. What are those papers you've got there? Man darks to glance at the paper's hands and shrugs. Check his barter. Can we kill this guy too? Uh, by accident. Not on purpose. <laughs> These are just papers. Did you come to see on some business? Oh, thank you, Katsos. Thank you for the raid, man. I didn't expect that. How'd Kenshin go? Hey, Rice! You guys have fun over at Kenshin? I noticed you were having some uh, kind of difficulties with a couple of them fights when you're running your those bodies around. Well, it depends. I'm just looking for work here in Paragon. The man takes off his glasses, blows on them, and wipes the lenses with his shirt. As he puts the glasses back on, he stares at your face with a scrutiny and nods. Well, I do indeed have a small jab. Job. Perhaps you could help me deal with a particularly complex paperwork problem. Tell me, are you any good with the logistics? Well, intellect, let me try and see. Success, yes. Well, the paperwork turns out to be rather complex. You spend a lot of time thinking over the contents of the paperwork, gradually figure out that they have to do a more efficient way of managing the trade caravan. Spend the next couple hours behind the table in heated discussion of what in your opinion, is the most rational way to organize streaming processes. Oh, <laughs> it's 
streaming process with the minimal use of labor and financial resources. Finally, a consensus reached. Great goddamn! It's nice to meet an intelligent man who understands complex issues. Our interview really helped, helped trade in the waste. Now it will be possible to fit an automobile caravan much more often. Resembles the good old cabin to some degree. The avatar of your conservation partner. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Happy to help. I love solving problems like that. Lovely. Now, can we talk about the payment? Uh, happy to help. I love solving problems like that. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Well, shall we change of it? Let's talk already. Lovely. Now, can we talk about the payment? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm. How about 300 rubles? Would you be happy with that sum? Friend, add a bit more to this. 300 rubles is kind of a slim pickings. Well, okay. You are right. Where else could I find such a helper as you are? Here you are. Have a hundred have another 150 that's better okay that's better give it here you know what keep it do we want to be altruistic altruistic let him keep that money maybe he'll give us another job yeah he did bleach his hair didn't he <laughs> uh, let's be altruistic and see what happens Suddenly, the man smiles warmly and pats you on the shoulder. It's always nice to meet a true altruist in the wasteland. They are endangered but valuable kind. Well, shall we change the subject? Let's talk about it already. That's right. Actually, it's time for me to go. See you soon. I don't see why not. What's going on? Uh, why not? Go on. Who's the boss here in Paragon? What is the issue threatening the trade in the world? Tell me about the life. Have you heard any? Okay. Who's the boss here in Paragon? The boss, and hopefully will always be no matter who's at the helm, the trade. God's goods must flow through the wasteland. Otherwise, even the highwaymen will die out there. True. Can I ask you another question? What are the issues threatening the trade in the world? There are thousands of them. Gang violence, laws, lack of demand, excessive demand, a lot of other things. Not Note that most threats are mutually exclusive. Classic. Can I ask you another question? Alright, I think I'm kind of done with him. So that was kind of cool. I got even more junk on me. Oh, so, wait. Okay, cool. So, I think I'm up to some serious freaking money now. How much did I pick up now? He gave me 300. The guy I killed with the bee had 450. Sweet, we're up to 867. And I have a whole bunch of junk to shell. Well, let's save that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Still can't believe I killed that guy with the freaking bee. On accident. <laughs> An unshaven man with a cigarette in his mouth meets you with happiness and glee that you really seem out of place. He walks over to hug you before something stops him. I just want to see what you got for good. That's all I'm here for. So you have some stimulants. Stealth. Speech craft. Damn it. Why doesn't anybody sell any freaking armor? Alright. Dear heart, how glad I am to see you. Um, do we know each other? My brother, I'm so glad to meet you. Dude, lay, lay off, okay? No, let's go with my brother, I'm so glad to meet you. Well said, that's destiny right there. I'm always glad to meet new people, so would you like to buy something? I can get you anything you need. You need scrap? I got some. You need to cover your head? I got hats, no problem. Maybe you seek medicine. I got that too. That's, uh, I do want medicine. So, see what we got. All right. Weight wise, got bullets in it. This does not. So we'll trade that. Uh, I think we'll trade the axe too. I want all your rubles. I want all your medicine. I've got nothing else that I can use. So, drop off all my fangs. Oh damn, I don't need to drop off all my fangs. 379, can I get more, I guess? 305. Can I have some money back? And give me the Cool! Oh. Stingy bastard. I can't do math. Trade. Nice. I was just passing by. 
more bottles. I'm picking up everything. Ooh! We can get all these lockers and get all the electrics out of it. I wonder if that'll turn off the, uh, I'm gonna quick save it. Try two scrap, shawl, two tape, and nails for a helmet. Alright, Scott Smith. Good idea. Okay. I think we have a shawl, right? Okay. Shawl. Do we have nails on me? No. Okay, so we got the shawl. Let's get the nails. Done. Got scrap, right? You got Two tape. Have tape. Hammers on my main. Okay. So for a hat, I'm going to craft crafting mat. Got tape. Nails. A hat. Okay, two scrap. Shawl and scrap. Do I have any scrap? I had scrap. Do I have any scrap? You gotta be kidding me. He didn't have any. No, he did not. Holy crap, I do not have scrap. Did I sell all? Oh, no, he had scrap. It's just right down there. Okay. Never mind. Quick save it in case we suck at crafting, which we do. Alright, here we go. Got it this time. So, scrap. Hat. Hat. Shawl. And. Tape. Okay. See what we get. Oh! A do it yourself helmet. This helmet is heavy and but looks kind of awkward. But it does the job of protecting your head. In fact, minus three dodge, plus two damage resistant head, plus one damage stress hold head. Okay, cool. So, now we're encumbered. Okay, two scrap, rabbit skin, wire, rope, and two nails for armor. Oh, that's what I really wanted. I should have not, should have read that before I did that. So we have two scrap. Here we go. I had. Where is it? Alright. Two scrap. I just had that. Two scrap. Oh, I don't have any rabbit skin. I just have a rabbit foot. Okay, cool. So. Helmet's nice, though. What do I got for a helmet? Plus one survival. So we're going to give that to Fidel, actually. What hat are you got, Fidel? Okay. So, trade that. Give me your ammo. And unload that. the helmet on? Oh, of course not. So, if I do this, do you put the helmet on now? Yes, you do. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. That's for help. Another armor, two tires, cloth cap, wire, and scrap. That I do have. I believe I have that. So, let's try that. Scrap. Oh, wait. Two tires, cloth cap, wire, and scrap. Cloth cap. Wire. I got lots of wire. Why not? No, I have wire. Damn it. I gotta get it off him. I wish you shared inventories. With your, uh, your crafting. your companion because that would make things a lot easier all right crafting materials okay, let's just do the hat first it's weapons 
wire. Oh, damn it. He has the tire on him, too. God. Tires. Sorry about that. Never mind, let's go. I'm really bad at games, just so everybody knows. He just joined us. Cap. Wrong cap. The cap looked like a cloth that is tied in back. Oh, a face scarf. Gotcha. Okay, so we can't even make that one yet. All right. Okay. Time to just open some stuff then. All right. Ask for help. Pop that bugger. All right. Come over here. Do that. This is all going to be wired because these are all electrical. Ooh, chips. Bust all these open. Okay, you suck at it. Try again. Yeah, this is what we're. Harder. Put all my weight. Scrap. Done. Which is that six kilograms? Tires back. All right. Open this one. Can't do it. Try again. I have faith in you. That's what I thought. Sweet. Just wish we actually found somebody that sold bullets or freaking weapons some type in this town we can actually convert this money into something I'm making other than just carrying the crap around it's still encumbered damn it so I'm at uh, 58, he's got 66. Thick water. Damn! Water is that freaking heavy? Done. Trade. Okay. So, it's that damn heavy. Come over to Mr. Excitable over here. Sell to his ass. Barter, what you got? really have nothing I want, though. Oh, wait, you got the rubles. So, reward vodka, done. Actually, we want the vodka. Go buy whatever has the highest weight. Water. Hey, legalized mitts. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks for stopping on by, hanging out. Oh, wait, yeah, that weighs a buttload, too. So, trying to get a handle on this game a little bit more today. So, moonshine, bottles. Okay, so, canned meat. Have some of my meat. Moonshine bomb homemade liquor. Radiation. 150 radiation. How about that? Couple bottles. Damn. No way. Oh. There we go. Just passing by. Alrighty. Loot the living hell out of this place. Now. So. Mon Fidel, come over here and loot. He looks funny with that. Oh, I'm in the doorway, so. Nice. Oh, damn, he went all the way around to do it. 
Awesome job, man. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so here's another gentleman sucker. I mean, got to talk to. A clean-shaven man in his 30s looking at a fresh, recently printed topographic map. Glasses sitting on the very tip of his nose. Have you noticed you? He lifts his gaze from the paper, but does not hide it, simply folding it in half. Hello, traveler. Are you by chance familiar with the village called Otradanya? Sure I am. I know it well. Why? Man face lights up with a wide smile. Great. Could you outline its border here on this very map? Why? Are you planning a raid? Why do you need that info? What the hell? What right? Do I look like a gangster? I'm a cartographer. I'm working on a map of this area. Well, all right then. Give me your map. I'll help you. You mark Otterdoni on the map with no problem. Once again, feeling awe uh, at how this man's map seems so fresh and so new. Oh, Bellissimo. Thank you, bro. Just don't get any wrong ideas. I'm very peaceful. Ma'am, I'm working for a haggler's conglomerate. They're asking me to map the most significant settlement. At first... I was planning to buy a map from a local, but they tend to make note of a lot of insignificant locations, like caches, farmsteads, locations of ancient car crashes, abandoned buildings. That's why I decided to draw my own map, the one that will contain the information important for merchants. What an interesting mission you got. If I had a cartographer's talent, I would have helped you, but not so luck. Let's talk about something else. Do it. How I have a questions. Who are you? My name is Zach here. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure is mine. So, and for more information. What are you busy with? I'm a cartographer by trade and thanks to a five month cartography course. That's a rare profession. One more question. Where are you from? My employer, Repkin the Sun. I am from Kersan. They are merchants from where I am from, but they are planning to expand to your four steps in a year or two. By that time, if you're not conquered by someone else and still profitable, that is. Well, if you w okay. Yeah, you have nothing. Well, if you wish for horses, I can ask you something else. All right, cool. Uh, take a look. So he's in the way. for help. Almost feel like I should have taken pickpocket That's one of my skills because you don't get EXP pick something. Wait, you get EXP if you pick the lock, but you don't get EXP if companion picks the lock. Okay, you don't take kindly. I'll just let you walk out of the room. There we go. Is that okay? Does that work for you, buddy? Bust it open. I wonder if he's getting you. I should check and see if he's actually getting you. Oh, damn. Bandana. Whew. More electrical parts. Worry about that at the moment. That. This is a nice place for loot. That's for damn sure. What's this? A fire extinguisher that weighs a buttload, so no. Here. Yep. Papers. Can I pick this up? Nope. Fire extinguisher. Shiv. Might as well. I can sell it. Actually, I really wish I could find a buyer for a seller of weapons of some type. So this would be a good place to come back for money. Right now, I'm at the point I just need to.